product placement. Cream sugar, we're good? Nope. Just cream, no sugar. Just cream, no sugar. Actually, my wife's got me into tea. So tea, tea in the morning, coffee when you get here. Hence, coffee with gas. So One of the cool things is that I want to do is be able to, to show off, you know, you being part of the culture and, and I know a lot about your story because we've been working together for 10 years. So getting coffee, we had we had to drink coffee anyway, to spend a couple minutes to kind of showcase you out there uh, to the people and, and, and really show off why I think JAG is so special. It's not just one person, it's, it's all of us together. Um, you have a really cool story. Um, I know more about you. So, but the first question I wanted to learn is, it's, how do you like your coffee? Black. <laughs> Very simple. See, I won't forget that. I, yeah. I was looking for the no two cream, pump, no, no foam, um, you know, half Splenda, half brown. No. None so of that. They no. must. So they love you at Starbucks. Um. Yes. Nice. I keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yes. No sugar. No, I'm always dieting, so that's why. Isn't life a diet? Isn't? Didn't you yeah, tell me that once? Been, yeah. Life I is. I think. Yeah. What, <laughs> <laughs> life is a diet. Life's a diet. Um, so, so cool, really, something about, um, I wanted to ask you is, you know, why insurance? All right, so let's go back to high school. I went to high school in Lima, Peru, and that's, right. that's born and raised, and I came here, and one of my family members owned an insurance agency. So I started working and learning with them. Um, years went by and okay, I have this career and then I'm like, you know what? This is boring. This industry is a little boring and I might want it to change careers. That's super controversial by the way. Let me explain myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then I was going to school while working um, for a bachelor's in fine arts because I just wanted to switch careers. And at the end, everything wrapped up in the JAG umbrella, in which I started feeling like this is where I belong. This is where I could get where I want to go. And that. that's it. End of story. I'm here, been working with the firm for this September, precisely 11 years. And I'm in a good place. I'm very happy. Is there anything that you could kind of point out as far as you know, what you like the most about insurance specifically, anything technical? First, what that comes to your head? Yes. Being able to help people with, for whatever reason, insurance is something that overwhelms people and clients. It's, it's, a, it's a very fear-based it, yes. concept. And, right? and then you have a doctor, uh, a surgeon, a lawyer calling you with this anxiety because they don't understand insurance. And then it comes so easy to us to kind of guide them and get them properly insured. So, I don't know, I think that's the rush, being able to assist. To provide the value. Yeah. Right. One, you know, I wanted to ask you for, and thank you for always spell checking my, uh, my Spanish emails. Your Espanol. My Espanol, my, and by the way, my Spanish has gotten a lot better. You, yeah. you're, you can testify to that. You're officially bilingual. Officially Official. bilingual. As far as any specific type of insurance policy, you prefer to work with, your go-to. And I know we deal with so many different types of policies, clients, different kind of risk, anything that you, you prefer as, a, as your favorite. Homeowners is my favorite. Okay. Comes easy, I think we've done it for so many years and we have so many options and markets that it's, even though it's challenging these days because of how the market has shifted, um, it's still uh, my, my preference. Question is, where do you want to be the next five years? In a place where there's always peace of mind, right. that to me is very important. I cannot be very specific right now because I just don't have an, an answer. But you challenged me and now I'm gonna have to think to about back. it. I, yeah. I, 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 because I've known you for so long, I kinda wanna go back to, from, from the, the going on 11 years, kind of where we started and where we're going now, just kind of the growth both, not just, it's, it's the overall growth from, from from your career, professionally, yeah. um, financially, all that stuff's coming. I mean, I, I would always say it, and when I'm, I'm a big believer here is that I don't want to put any limitations on anybody. I mean, I, having you succeed is as much as a motivation for me to succeed myself. Like, if you're not 
going where you want to be, yeah. then I'm not, I just don't feel like I'm doing my job as a leader at the company. Something I wanted to remind you, like maybe on my first year where I started working with you in your book, okay. you told me, Ursula, you should get your 220, okay. which will allow me to have my own book of business. And at that moment, of course, I was going to school for something else. So I wasn't really paying attention to what you were saying, but got stuck in here. So oh, now, I, I did, nice. I'm, so I, we're going now, back. Okay. So now. Fast forward to today. Yes. Okay. I shouldn't have done what I'm doing now before, but you know what? I think it's perfect timing. It happened and you were right. I get that, because I get that, I get that a lot, by the way. I handle his book and now I, I started growing my own book. So it's, it's pretty cool. I, mean, see, I see feel you, more complete and successful in this industry doing that. And, and, I, and I think sky's the limit for yes. you. And going back on that again, your, your growth is, is as important to me, to our team, to everybody. As, you know, it, I mean, you grow, we grow, and, and, and I'm happy that you feel that way. Because you tell me in five years, I want you to take over in five years. Like, I, don't be, you know, th that's what I want. Yeah. I want that mentality of, of taking us to the next level. And by you continuing to do what you're doing, it's a big part of where we're going. So it's, it's you know, again, selfishly speaking, I, I want to get that out there. I want to be able to promote you. Getting uncomfortable is why I believe we're successful. I'm successful. You're successful. 100%. This is one example of being uncomfortable, even on camera. You know, we have two wonderful... <laughs> Two great directors in the background. I'll give you guys a shout out after the fact. <laughs> but, but this is kind of one example. So, you know, I appreciate you really starting to kind of tell your story. I hope we can do this more often. I mean, I, I know you're doing it yourself. Even you have a business page, right, on social media. Have you seen some traction from that? Yeah, it is amazing to see the impact that um, being in social media is, is just has changed my life. I'm pretty sure it has changed yours, too. Um, it's very important. It keeps us current, and just send me a message. Yeah, and and, and the cool thing is just not taking yourself too seriously. Like what, what we're trying to do is really be authentic. Like yeah, I, I see us, we're, we're having a conversation we would have any day, and it's just we're having it with a camera in front of us. Come on, yeah. we're we're with each other more or longer than what we're with our families. Sometimes, yeah. So again. Jack gave me the opportunity to be in a place where I don't think I'm wasting my life or wasting my time. I add a value to my life and as I said, I'm, I'm extremely happy where I'm at right now. Right. You're happy, I'm happy. I'm good. Do you like to quit your pretending truth or false shit never ends?